Good morning, everyone. Jim Chester, once again, coming to you live from New Beginnings out here in New Jersey. I have Ron Sinagra with me, and he just ripped the stage up. I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about what he spoke about up on the stage, and then we're just going to keep on Cairo hustling for the rest of the day. So, Ron, tell me a little bit about your talk that you gave today. Well, my presentation today was about uh, nutrition and chiropractic care, but more importantly, how the world has changed dramatically in the last 60 years and how diet and uh, lifestyle in the West is killing our patients and changed the actual dynamic of who walks in our office. So what we're attempting to do is teach chiropractors that basic nutritional changes and basic supplementation can open up the door to helping so many sick patients in conjunction with our chiropractic care. Uh, the world is different. We're dealing with toxic loads, we're dealing with massive carbohydrates, we're dealing with processed foods. 180 million people obese, uh, we're a fat, bloated, autoimmune, inflamed, over-medicated country. And by making simple adjustments with our patients, like teaching them the proper diet, teaching them basic supplementation, like a multivitamin, a fish oil, and a vitamin D. It's ba I'm talking basic stuff. We're not talking here, you know, getting crazy with, uh, with, with that. But what we're showing is that by making basic changes and upper cervical chiropractic care, how you can confidently take on the sick of the, the sick, the sickest of the sick. I got it. <laughs> I said it. I just got off the stage. My voice is a little tired, but so so. Tell me this: How long have you been coming to New Beginnings? Uh, about 23, 24 years. When I first got out of school, we came down to Jersey uh, because uh, it was close. We said, "Let's go check it out." And I've been coming down now to see Jim and Bob Tarantino and Sam for about 25, 26 years. Um, in chiropractic, staying focused and staying with the right frame of mind and people that think like us in terms of there's going to be people in, in any profession one half will say it's doom and gloom one half will be positive we're positive we we're in the right place at the right time to change the world and chiropractors are in the forefront so instead of like some of our profession that wants to move towards medicine and prescription rights and and you know and doom and gloom we're focusing on changing the world and it starts by associating with positive, loving people that love chiropractic, and that's New Beginnings. So let's glean on uh, Jim a little bit and talk about his <laughs> leadership. Well, Jimmy Dubell, <laughs> as long as I can remember, you gotta remember, the people that, that put this together, the work that they put into it is, it, it's, it's massive. And Jimmy is always about bringing positive chiropractic philosophy and and people together so that there is a place that you can go to. So we don't feel like we're lost and the world is moving and we're not, you know, the world is against our uh, our concepts. By staying with like-minded, positive, chiropractically based, subluxation based uh, practitioners and, and friends and family, he creates this environment, this home. So this is home, you come home and, it, and it's great and I love it. So tell me a little bit about what it means for having so many students here. Well. We have what, 70 students now. I mean, now think about this. Students are vulnerable because they're, they're, they're just learning their craft and they're, and they're vulnerable to interpretation from other people. So, like I said, there's, there's people out there that will voice that healthcare is not a good field, that chiropractic and insurance is bad, and, you know, and, it's, and then there's people that love what we do that'll <laughs> teach them how awesome it is to be a chiropractor and to have 70 students here we are we are forming the minds in a positive loving caring environment about principal chiropractic care that's pretty uh that's it's amazing so we can have an influence on the rest of uh, oh, excuse me uh, on uh, the future of our profession right here in new beginnings with this many students yeah and see when i first got here yesterday ron i had a chance to meet jim for the first time and he gave me a big hug, and he goes, "Welcome to the family, Jimmy." Yeah, isn't and that right? You know, it just made it touched my heart, and just to meet all the amazing people here, it's been just meeting you just now. Like I had to pull you away from your your raving fans. Well, it was it, it was, <laughs> you know, when you come here, and I, and I always tell Dr. Dubell when we speak that coming coming to New Beginnings, uh, you, you walk through the door, it's like walking into families' homes, you know, over the holidays. <laughs> you, you 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 come in and you're greeted by friends and family, and and it, it, it's a place to help you grow and deal with the issues of being a chiropractor and also to offer support, love, and friendship. Can't, you can't ask for much more than that. So I'm going to throw you a bit of a curveball now. Uh -oh. why, why, why is the profession so lost in certain aspects? Well, it, that's a complicated question, but there's many in our profession that 
were more medically orientated. The schools, the criteria of the curriculum of many of our schools was more medical. Many in our field felt by being more medical, like more educated, that we would be more accepted in the society. And there's no one more educated than medicine, and there's no one more uh, uh, highly taught than medicine in our society, and it's falling apart. So one half of our profession went one way, and the other half of our profession sticks with our principles, and, and that's what, who we are. Uh, we want to be positive, we want to be up, uplifting, and we are in the right place at the right time. Medicine's falling apart. Obamacare, Trump care, who cares? It's not going to work. It, it's, it's unsustainable, and the world is on the verge of looking for a completely new way to look at health and health care, as the old one just becomes completely financially, morally, unsustainable. How do we course correct that for the chiropractor? The, the chiropractor needs to become the beacon of health. Talk about health, talk about healing, talk about the body's ability. We have never, as, as people, we have never been taught or allowed to think about our awesome, incredible power to heal ourselves. Medicine teaches you that the answer is outside the body, that they have the answer, that a drug is the answer, and if they don't have a drug, it's incurable. No. No, no, no. The greatest healer is within the person. And chiropractic works with that understanding as we take care of the sick and we take care of patients to teach them that you can heal. You have that ability. Mm -hmm. There is no better doctor than the one that lies within. And chiropractic teaches that to our patients. Well, I just want to thank you for being such a powerhouse on stage today and, and, and touching so many people with your message. And it touched me, too. I didn't have a chance to sit in on any other speaker until yours. But I go to a lot of these seminars and being able to see how you delivered. You brought humor to people, but you brought a, a lot of reality to people, too. Jimmy, thank you very much. Pleasure, Mike. Yeah. Take care. So there you have it. Ron uh, just delivered the goods up there on stage. And I'm just going to close out with you on this interview. But thank you so much for everybody being on the live stream with us today. Uh, can't do it without you guys. And please, if you do uh, appreciate what we're doing here, uh, like and share. Give us some thumbs up. Give us some hearts. But I'm going to be coming to you for the rest of the day until the big Halloween bash tonight. Uh, I'll be coming to you live from New Beginnings out here in Jersey. Uh, love and appreciate every single one of you. Stay with me. Thank you.